hello can i okay so now it started so now uh, last class we seen right uh, that is loops so what is while loop and uh, so what is for loop and what is until until is nothing but opposite of while until you are mostly opposite of while only and uh, so now based on a requirement uh, now if you need uh, so we can add that one dev apps what is my id Zero two three add one. Okay, so that are the loop concepts and all. And uh, so today we'll see continuous and all. And uh, so how to work with it. Okay, can you see my screen, guys? Is it visible or not? Yes, sir. Okay, now record also. Okay, that is space problem. I removed some of files and all. So mostly we can use uh, so that is uh, if condition mostly if you want to check uh, if condition and all so if you want to check any specific that is condition if condition and uh, so under this condition we can uh, task your actual task and all actual test statement and all right under under the if if it is not satisfied I am in over here now I am in Virginia let me start my instance in meantime it will work so now today we are going to see some of uh, file related very very important uh, interval also so most of the people they asked so how to create file whether that file is available or not so that and all uh, so we'll see there is a file test options a uh, few options available uh, file related or directly related and uh, so how to work with uh, file now if you observe here um, coming to window or ms paint okay now so there is a file uh, already you know right statement and all uh, these are mostly interview they asked uh, these related uh, questions and all there is a file uh, options there is a uh, there is a file uh, file test operations i want to check uh, whether that file is available or not uh, and i want to check whether that directory is available or not uh, so that case uh, there is uh, some options available you know right if and e there is a relational operator g greater than equal to less than or equal to greater than less than not equal to equal to and all same way so these are the file operations guys these are mostly we are using in our script and all iphone e so here iphone e nothing but somewhere if you see iphone v so it returns true or false it returns uh, true or true or uh, false true or false true or false True or false is nothing but uh, so our file false true or uh, it returns true mostly it returns true if file is uh, existing or not if uh, file or directory available or not directory exist if already file is available so it returns true if it is file not available that case now there is some uh, so mostly we are passing some arguments iphone s so I punish means uh, this is also uh, returns true returns true if uh, you know right uh, so if file is not empty not empty means uh, you know right uh, not uh, empty means if you have any data or not if you have any data or not okay so I fun f uh, this is nothing but uh, it will check a uh, regular files uh, it returns true that file is a regular file or not so same you are and returns true it turns true if uh, if uh, if the file if the file is a regular file or not you know right uh, file is a regular regular means uh, you know right uh, iphone first letter suppose if it is uh, if it is directory you know right iphone d so if and d is nothing but uh, so it returns true and uh, so if the file is uh, directory or not so if the if the if the file if the file is file is a directory if and f means regular file if and d means uh, directory if and e means uh, so file is available or not if and f means uh, whether that file is empty or not empty 
to like and check if and l means uh, so link files i finance means uh, this is a link file you know right uh, hard link files uh, soft link files uh, hard link files uh, soft link if the if the file is uh, if the file is a yeah, link file or not file is a yeah, link file or not hard link or soft link you know right so that case we can check it that case we can check it so mostly we are using uh, so this and all so interval also many people they asked so how to check whether that file is available i want to create one file so if file is not available and uh, so i want to create if file is uh, available file is uh, existing or not i want to check so how to check it we'll see so these are the file test operations mostly we can uh, use uh, so these are the so these are the iphone e and if it is a file iphone f if it is directory iphone d if it is link file iphone l if it is iphone s means that is file empty or not we can check it empty or not we can check it and also we can check some operations also we can check some operations also uh, you know right uh, so whether it is read read permissions uh, you know right uh, there is a uh, permissions uh, read permission and uh, so write permission next uh, read write uh, what is last one x x is nothing but execute permission execution right execution permission so if you want to we can check these permissions also if you want to we can check permissions also uh, read permission whether this uh, so you know right uh, the user has read permission or not the user has write permission or not and the user has uh, execution permission or not and uh, so who is the owner so that also also we can check it so who means uh, here mostly we are using owner so mostly it will check uh, so returns the current user owner of the file who is the owner of the file we can check uh, so owner of the file file so these are some basics only so how to use uh, we'll see practically we can understand now first let me connect my instance so click on click on connect so copy this one and uh, so last interview they asked so they asked the same related to the file operation so now i'm going to so type uh, that one only now see how it will work in resume if you mention cell scripting they are also asking few questions uh, in cell scripting also so those all are mostly they are asking very very simple questions only they are not going to ask very big big uh, you know right scripting and all now we'll see so now so they ask like uh, so they want to check uh, whether that file is available or not my current directory now which are where i mean pwd pwd is nothing but uh, current working directory right so present working directory ls is nothing but uh, see these are the files now so what is the question means so they want to they want to test whether the given file is existing or not for example i am passing one file name i am passing i am giving one file name dynamically you know right how to read the data dynamically so i read if and p we can use it i am passing one file name so that file is available or not current working directory now clear guys they asked so we need to write a cell script for this uh, requirement now first see here sudo vi sudo vi sudo vi and also uh, check check file okay dot ss i given some name now insert uh, first line same only hash explanatory mark slash bin slash bash okay now i want to read the file name dynamic data now what is the line guys tell me already you know right read i want to read file name read iphone p. p prompt message enter file file name enter file name and we can give variable name work at whatever you want f or file name i give one f name file name f name is nothing but file name so that is your wish okay so how to print it if you want to print echo statement okay your file is file name file name okay just dollar how to print variable name f name i hope everyone know now what is the requirement uh, so i am given one file name for example here i given also dev app.txt so if uh, that file is available i want to display file name is exist 
if that file name is not available so file name does not exist that's it so last interview they asked can you write a simple uh, self script program so check whether that file is available or not now clear guys now already you know if statement already you know if condition now with the help of if condition now how to check file name now tell me anyone already you know if if space this is our syntax correct condition now then now here also we can use semicolon then or directly we can use uh, so enter so enter then okay then and also uh, here echo statement correct echo so echo means also uh, if already i am i am passing some file name so dollar file f name is f name f name f name f name file name file name is exist okay suppose else you know write else echo dollar dollar means which our file we are passing f name not exist that's it correct so this is how to close if statement f5 now here we need to check the condition now how to check the condition guys this is the statement this is the condition right so how to write now we know right uh, these are the file so these are the file test operation now which which argument we need to pass here if the file are directly existing or not what we need to pass iphone hmm? now see if file directory are existing or not i want to check it so what you need to pass iphone iphone e. e now see here in the condition iphone e space iphone e space iphone e and what is my file name how to read that file name here same how to read that file name dollar that's it very simple if i understand syntax that is very simple f name now see here so if this is my condition guys this is my condition so last interview they asked this self scripting can you write a self script okay so just to pass i am giving one file name if that file is already existing just display the file is exist if file is not available so file name is not available that's it now see here so read the data dynamically i am passing file name read iphone p enter file name so this is my variable name f name or whatever name you want we can pass here and echo file name dollar f name if iphone e you know right what is iphone e if that file is available you want to check file right whether that file is available or not so iphone e it returns true if file is available it returns true if file is not available it returns uh, it is showing so it is showing uh, you know right false correct now it is checking okay file name i am passing if already available that file name file name is exist if that file is not available file does not file not exist so this is our message correct this is our message whatever you want we can pass here whatever you want pass it clear now see here escape escape colon x now so these are the files this is my present working directory see here present working directory so here this many files available student info.txt file is available now i am checking this file now give the permission sudo ch mode a plus x okay what is the file name check file.ss file now how to run the file now run the file dot slash take the file name now enter file name here i am giving file name see here stu student info info dot txt file is available or not see here file name student now i print this is extra statement right i print that one now this is the information student info dot text is exist clear now i am giving a wrong file name now i am giving also devas dev dev app dev dot txt file so in this current directory this file is available or not check it 
Is it available or not? Not available, correct? So not available means which statement we will execute here? Which statement? Cat space. Check. Now see here. I passed one file name, dynamic file name. I am passing here. Now it is checking. I pan e. This is my devops.txt. So current directory, that file name is available or not, guys? If it is available, it, it returns true statement. If condition is true, this statement will be executed. If condition is false, this statement will be executed. That's it. Now we see the now devops.txt. Available or not? Not available. This is a true or false. Condition is satisfied or not satisfied? Not satisfied. Not satisfied. Now this statement will be executed. See here file devapps.txt not exist so this is the last time they asked this is the, the last time they asked now clear guys here in this uh, file anyone any doubt Anyone, any doubt here or clear? Tell me. Tell me, sir. Okay. Now, yes, sir. now, second scenario. So, if file is not available, they want to create file. Now, tell me. So, what is their requirement? Now, this is okay. Now, you are checking, right? So, whether that file is available or not. If this file is not available, they want to create file. If it is available, I want to show, okay, file is existing. File is uh, already available. Suppose if file is not available, devapps.txt, so they want to create the file. Uh, now tell me how to implement. This is also enter a question they ask. Next question they ask this one. If that file is not available, first we need to check uh, file is available means uh, file is existing. Suppose if it is not available, so they want to create the file. Now how to create the file? Now anyone? Touch, we can use touch command. Hmm. sudo vi check file insert now this line i don't want i am going to remove just i printed right uh, now same where i need to update tell me so if already yeah. file is available also file exists already we written once echo statement yeah already file is available correct already file exists okay if file is not available, now where I need to add that statement? First statement or sales part? Sales part. Sales part. Now if you want to create any file, so what is the command guys in Linux? Touch. P O U C H. Sorry. P O U C H. You say touch space. What is the file name? How to read that file name? Dollar. F name. F name. That's it. Now clear? See, very simple. So, if you understand that conditions and all, so writing is very simple. Okay. Now, see here, let me run. Anyone, any doubt here? If uh, iPhone E, I used, if already file name available, the file is, if it is condition is true, the first statement will executed. Suppose if file is not available, this condition is not true. It is the condition is not, uh, you know, right, uh, satisfied. So, now it will come to else part. So if file is not available, I want to create that file. That's it. If you want to create any file in Linux, what is the command? That's command. That's it. What is the command? That's command. So this uh, this cell script they asked last interview. Clear, guys? Let me run. Escape colon x. Now, first before run this file, uh, so let me check it. Uh, so how many files available here? Do we have any DevOps file here as of now? No, right? I don't have any file. DevOps.txt, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Now I am running uh, check. Now see here, I am running enter file name. Now see here, DevOps.txt. So now if, if it will go to if condition. So this file is available in this directory or not? Not available. 
so which part it will execute else part in else part what is the command touch space devops.txt will execute now see here now check it there is I, I didn't write any echo statement right that's it so now ls now see here file was created or not earlier i don't have any file earlier i don't have any file now it was created that uh, newly created this file now again i am running same command or else I just update it update this file we can write echo statement also so what once the touch is done we can write for your understanding purpose echo dollar f name created that is your successfully i given some statement for your understanding purpose escape colon x now see here now i'm running uh, same now i'm using uh, so devapps dot txt now in this case already file is available now which statement it will execute first statement or else part first, first statement. statement now see here file exists now i'm running see here now i'm giving uh, so uh, now i'm giving for example any sample dot txt file now it is checking condition is false now it will come come to else part touch space sample dot txt and echo also it is printing now see here sample dot txt is created create successfully now see now got this uh, this last time uh, they asked many people they asked so how to uh, check whether file if file is not available so they want to create that's it clear anyone any doubt guys here this is very simple only suppose if you want to check uh, whether it is directory or not i want to create a directory so how we can check it uh, so we can use uh, now if you want to check it i d also we can use it i d also we can use it whatever you want uh, that is your name okay so anyone any doubt guys hello clear or not yes. okay so now uh, so now check whether this uh, now i created a sample dot txt file now how to check uh, whether this is a file uh, this is a regular file uh, or this is a directory now question right i am giving one name okay i am giving one name so how i know this is a file or this is the directory now if you want to check it so there is we need to pass right so there is a pass right how to check it whether it is a directory or whether it is file let me edit, edit same thing only now got it right sudo vi check now i want to check whether it is file or directory i am giving one name so if i pass some name so whether it is file or directory how to check it now see here so now up to here i hope everyone know now this is then now it is a now if you want to check file or directory so what is this we need to give here see here file or directory if you want to check file iphone app if you want to check directory iphone d i am giving one name if you pass a devops.txt this is a file or directory file for example i am going to give one directory if i give that directory name i want to check this is a directory that's it clear clear guys now see here if iphone e now i am giving same thing only or i am giving also different uh, escape colon file okay sudo vi sudo vi check file or directory the dot ss file okay insert as explanatory mark slash bin bash 
okay now i want to read read so i find p okay enter enter file name enter name any name that is file name or directory whatever it may be enter name or file name or directory name file or directory okay so now i'm giving also name same only okay now you know right if uh, so first we need to check file or directory what you need to do iphone f dollar f name this is simple correct f name then hmm, then if it is then echo uh, what is this this is a file or directory it is a file else okay so else hmm, what is this uh, so else directly i can use right el f el so el if if condition i want to check one more uh, iphone d dollar what is this f name okay then echo hmm. it is a directory else echo this okay enter name enter name name is not exist whatever just have our understanding for i given some that's it okay single quotation that's it okay f i how many f i how many if statement is there two right how many if is there two right this is, see here is one if condition is there if then else if okay so i close it here i close it here okay so if you want to we need to one more fi now clear guys here anything else echo or passing something something missing where it is missing it is a syntax missing right if this is okay mm -hmm. here uh, first first keep it order first uh, this is iphone f right iphone f means it is a regular file or not before that uh, so we need to use a uh, file whether file is existing or not we need to check it right so if same previous statement iphone f iphone e dollar dollar f name so this is okay so then then so you go so then okay if it is uh, already file is available i don't want print anything and uh, so we need to give this is one and again if this is second if under if guys so if so this is second if mm, semicolon then and uh, so i need to print this and all no need single line one semicolon or else we need to give uh, that's it okay tab that's it else else and uh, so single line means uh, this is very simple right uh, there is no confusion then okay else 
now keep it as okay else echo uh, this is file uh, this is a file this is a directory or uh, so else it is not file it is directory so enter name is a uh, other format other file other if it is already available so now check it one if already closed one if already closed so second if also we need to close one more f5 okay now clear guys one two two ifs we need to close it let's run it we can understand is there any errors or not so now see here first time passing file name and it is checking file name so if it is already file is a if you want to we can write echo statement also if you want to uh, else part also we can write uh, suppose if file is not available i can write uh, so i can write else also okay this is the if statement here it is ending right here it is running and uh, so else else and uh, echo so file does not exist file not available whatever you want file not exist that's it okay so now first this is a file it is checking next if uh, if and f this is if it is regular file it is a file it is a regular file it is a regular file and uh, if i and d means it is a directory it is a directory it is a it is a directory or it is a other format or it is any special file other uh, it is a the enter file uh, other file all other file and lastly i given uh, other file right file not exist if not available uh, so this is the last if guys this is the if uh, this is the last if that file is not available file not exist and all it will throw okay escape colon x now already given permission sudo how to give permission sudo ch mode ch mode ch mode a plus x and check check file directory that's it okay how to run dot slash check file directory okay now enter file name so now i'm giving a uh, existing file devapps.txt file this is a file or directory before uh, okay txt now see here it is a regular file how i know this is a regular file how to check manually guys ll now see here devapps.txt this is a file or directory tell me file sir file how we know file uh, first letter empty right empty okay now i am going to give a directory mkdr and i am giving uh, so for example i am giving uh, so this is right uh, i am giving a shell 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 okay LL. this is the directory now see here shell is the directory now i am going to give this name now i want to show this is the directory i want to get message now i run this file Now I'm giving uh, so file name SHLL. So shell means uh, see here it is a directory. How script to know this is the file or this is directory? Now I'm giving a different name. Now I'm giving for example my name I given. So what message will get? See here not exist, not exist, not exist. We need to update some uh, clear statement. So now we can easily understand. Now last statement. So what is last statement? Uh, so not the file, right? Here uh, F is missing. What is this? Uh, F name, right? F name. Sorry. Insert. Insert. Uh, this is a uh, F name. F name. Okay. Now F name does not exist. Okay. Whatever we are passing, that's it. Now see here. First we are passing file name, and if it is iPhone F. 
if a hyphen f means if it is file it is this it is executing this uh, statement suppose if it is directory first it is checking this condition this condition for example here i given uh, last name right markunda i given that uh, that is that is file or directory anyway it is not available anything the condition is false okay so now so now condition is false right directly it is coming to here so markunda does not exist now i are given uh, devops.txt now it is coming the condition is satisfied true now come to here so now it is checking if and f this is file or directory so this is the regular file suppose if it is directory if it is not uh, condi if condition is not satisfied come to else part if it is directory it is printing this one for example uh, whatever that is different file now it is come to this file that's it this statement this statement now see here escape colon x now i am run this file now i am giving so for example abc now which message we are getting file does not exist correct last statement echo statement so abc does not exist now i am giving uh, so see here now shell now shell already file name is available now it is come to first if part that is false now it is coming to else part if and d right this is the directory now it is a directory it is printing see here it is a directory now if i am giving see here and uh, so devops.txt now first uh, first uh, if condition true and second if condition also true now it is going it is a regular file now clear guys anyone any doubt here clear when will third statement will execute sir like other files sir ah uh, just create one link file guys link file ah uh, give how to create link file ln optional hmm. ln soft link means hyphen s yes, sir ah uh, hyphen s uh, hmm. original file name devops dot txt and uh, so devops one dot txt clear syntax clear or not yes sir clear sir. okay now ll now this is the l so what is this file name devops one dot txt this is the which file link file right soft link, soft yes. link file now come to here now i'm coming to here and run this ticket now i'm giving uh, so devops one dot txt one dot txt right this is the l right this is which statement i given this is wrong right output correct or not this is other format we need to print other right correct yes sir so we need to check other hmm uh, where we need to update check it here sudo vi what is the file name check file dir directory sudo vi file file dir file directory ch sorry ch c k check file directory okay here we need to update what is first statement we are passing some file okay if it is f means regular file this is l right link file what you need to do link file hyphen l sir hyphen l sir we need to add uh, that also we need to add so that also now it is checking only hyphen f anyway it is a uh, this is regular file not a regular file so now file name is correct only then it is coming here if i find a file name this is a regular file okay now else for this is not the directory so now else hmm actually here it is skip i find f means regular file this is a regular file only and a link file what we need to add hyphen yes right hyphen 
what year we passed here link file hyphen l we need to check hyphen l uh, where we need to add so one more if statement also we can add it we need to check it right so here else hyphen if simply if you give this is very simple it is checking uh, this is a link file this is a link file uh, anyway i am giving this is f and uh, so i am using one more if el if mm, hyphen uh, l and dollar dollar f name right space okay that's it okay and uh, so we can add uh, so if one more if also we can add it you need to add uh, so close it right here we need to close uh, on more f5 where is this else else syntax missing right only two weeks we can use anything that is our wish right okay this is also not mandatory this is what we are printing okay this is one if this is one if one two two if only right main two if okay now we escape this and all we can modify it but based on our request now check it now i'm using uh, so devops one dot txt now it is a uh, which file which one it is coming uh? link files link file or regular file this is a link file right yes sir uh, link file means uh, iphone l this condition false okay else it is coming here this is a not a regular file or simply i am giving uh, this is correct only iphone insert uh, if it is not regular file else it is checking a uh, directory or not or else if uh, iphone l correct only right link file how to check it or let me check google it how to check uh, link file Syntax correct only. I what is this? Regular file file options. How to check a file options in a shell file test operator. File test operator. So I find a file is existing or not. File exists. I find a file uh, exist iphone s yes, non zero d directory b i uh, don't want where is l l i gone wrong small l right here is that file capital l correct file is a symbolic link this is a symbolic link right capital l not small l capital l what my here capital l capital l okay now clear anything missing here so check the indentations not ellipse within the ellipse now okay that's it now check it or else we'll update
now uh, so this is a devapps dot txt this is a regular file and uh, so sam shell if i give uh, any already shell is there right this is the directory and i am giving devapps devapps one dot txt correct only right file name mm -hmm. it is coming first part only hyphen l or first i will check it what is this if hyphen which element it is coming hyphen l here i am giving uh, so hyphen f maybe we can use anywhere that is not a problem but i don't know by default it is coming uh, print only else if it is checking or else I am checking only this is link file or regular file. So it is a regular file. This is a link file. It is a link file. It is a link and uh, so it is the regular file. is a regu file okay now come here okay now check it whether this is working or not step by step now run it now devapps dot txt this is the this is a regular file okay now devapps one dot txt this is a link file now see here now it is working right so now so i i not small l guys uh, capital l here i given small l right not small l uh, this is a capital l this is a not small l so this is a capital l if you want to check link file and all uh, so this is a capital l so here i given small l this is a capital l capital is nothing but a link file so like this uh, in intro mostly they are asking simple simple cell scripting only now if, if related uh, and check the condition and all uh, just we need to check it suppose uh, so if you want to print the content if you want to uh, not empty or file is empty i want to check whether this file is data or not i want to check uh, so this file is data or not now see here cat space devapps.txt do you have any data here no right okay now i want to check whether this file is empty or not empty now if you want to check it just try it we need to pass uh, which one iphone yes which one we need to check it iphone yes iphone s is nothing but so it will uh, return true if file is not empty if it is empty it will return false In that case we can use iphone s so this is the uh, depends on requirement we can check it practice it that's it nothing no need to do anything and all okay where guys anyone any doubt now uh, so yesterday we see case uh, example while we see case we see did you see case statement no sir okay we'll see case means uh, that is uh, if uh, case also mostly we want to use but sometimes if you need to check it a case and all uh, we need to check it right so case statement is nothing but uh, multiple options guys sir. so case so case is nothing but multiple options sir. how multiple options means uh, so here uh, we are giving uh, so case this is the syntax uh, case and uh, we are giving a variable name variable and uh, so here checking uh, if uh, option one if option one and uh, so i want to execute something sorry what is this this is a statement case is nothing but multiple options available and uh, so based on our input it is selecting a particular statement so like, that is nothing but a nested if statement this is a syntax case and uh, so we need to read that variable 
and uh, so once that is done for example option one so here in this option one and uh, here we are going to write uh, your statement action that is nothing but a statement which statement you want to execute statement execute execute statement or uh, just action whatever you want whatever you want we want to execute okay so action one okay now this is the syntax now option two now see here so this is the option two this is the option two and uh, so this is the which action you want to execute i want to execute action two and uh, so so like this we can add uh, so many options now see here option 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 uh, three and uh, action three what uh, what we want to actually execute action three so this is the if uh, no uh, option is matched the default action will be executed the default action will be executed if nothing is matching last one it is executing a uh, default action so last one it is executing uh, so dau default uh, action so default action this is the even uh, java dot net uh, anywhere same syntax only but only semicolon or extra it will come so only extra it will come extra it will come okay so extra it will come now see here how to write this this is the syntax if you know syntax we can easily write it now same thing i am going to update in our file now if you come to here sudo va case test dot ss file now insert hash slash bin slash bash okay now first i want to read the any dynamic value so read p iphone p uh, so enter uh, so any enter uh, so any so number enter any just i want to give a single digit number digit number okay i am giving a variable name is n so now this is the case dollar what is the syntax variable name dollar variable name in this is the syntax in now so here zero now i am giving a case number so if zero echo okay so you enter uh, i want to print uh, zdro zero so zdro zero now see here now this is the one okay so echo one one just whatever you want next uh, this is the case two echo i given double quotation t double o two and uh, now uh, so three echo just i am printing something whatever option i selected just those values i am printing okay and the last one is uh, suppose like this we can pass and the last one whatever you want we can print suppose if you are pa not passing anything so default which one you want to execute so this is the default statement so this is the default statement means uh, which statement you want to execute okay echo and uh, so please enter only zero to three i given only right zero to three that's it whatever this is a uh, num n u m b r s numbers that's it okay now this is the syntax so this is the syntax case reverse we need to close it case starts with uh, if starts with i f right and how we are closing the if statement f i in the same way case started here and case under here yeah, reverse case reverse case see here e s a c e s reverse case this is the case right this is c a s c case and how to close the case ESAC that is the reverse format. We need to type reverse only. Clear? Now these are the options, guys. These are the options. Uh, so what is the case means? Uh, you know, right? Uh, so uh, multiple options are available, and uh, it is recommended to go for uh, so case. So now here are uh, multiple options I given. If I pass zero, it is printing zero. Suppose if I pass two, it is printing two. Suppose if I pass three, it is printing uh, three. Suppose if you have passed four, it is printing default statement. Please enter only zero to three numbers. 
so like this we can now see run it escape colon x escape colon x sudo ch mode a plus x and uh, case test dot ss file now da, dot case test dot ss file what is this file no such file or case test no file bad interruption bin spelling wrong the sudo ch mode which one ma bin bin spelling wrong sir okay okay so yeah, yeah. go to sorry edit edit sudo sorry edit where is edit ch va case test so here right so this is bin bash okay insert bin bash okay escape colon x now come to here all are done run it now enter number i given one so now see here which one it is printed one now i executed now i given three now see here three is printed now i given two so now it will go and check the case two and it is printing now i given also six so do we have any option here do we have any option six guys no right so which statement it will be execute default statement please enter please enter only zero to three numbers please enter only zero to three numbers so if we have multiple options so that case we go for a case statement so now we go for case statement so suppose if we have multiple options available and uh, so if you want to select a specific and that case we should go for uh, so case now this is a syntax guys case read the variable name and this is the in and this is the case 0 case 1 case 2 case 3 and this is the default case suppose uh, apart from these numbers 0 to 3 if you pass any number default statement will be executed that's it if i pass 1 it will print 1 if I pass 2, it will print 2. If I pass 3, it will print 3. Suppose if I pass 5, 6, 7, apart from uh, so 4, 5, 6, anything, which statement it will be? First, it is checking. Is there any option? 5? No. So, which statement it will be execute? Default, stay, the default. This one will be executed. This option will be executed. Clear, guys? So, like this, uh, so we can add uh, so multiple options. So, multiple options. So multiple options. So if really if you re recommended and whenever in your real time scenario. So if I want to select a zero, I want to execute some steps and all. If I if you pass something, I want to execute different steps. If I pass a two, I want to execute different statement. If I pass three, I want to execute different statement. Suppose if I pass other than three, a default statement will be executed. Clear? So these are very simple, simple self scripting only. First, we need to practice, or else we cannot remember. In intro purpose, they are asking very, very simple, simple self scripting programs only. Just if we have idea how to write if statement, how to write for loop, how to write while loop, how to write case and all, and we can easily handle. We can easily handle. Okay. Clear, guys. Anyone any doubt here? So that's it from my side today. And uh, so if you have any doubt, we can ask or else we'll wind up and we'll connect uh, so tomorrow.